first of all, I have to be very, very honored to be in this show. And I think it's very cool if you see the makeup and it's very rock and roll. And I think it's very, very cool. Then turn around till I'm upset, dumb and all the sea until I've turned on and I feel torture, I feel pain just like a film with my cook. And I've been abused, I've been confused. I've been smart and fed your shoes, and I've been high and I don't know. To look for Dior is Madison Avenue Gothic, New York chic, rock and roll. We have black eyebrows, red burgundy eyes, purple, beige mouth, and a natural skin as well. But it's uh, very daring, but very uptown. We're using five different hair colored wigs so it matches their outfits. If they're wearing a black outfit, they all have a black wig, red, brown, blonde, and like a prune eggplant color. And then they all have a bandana wrapped around their head as well. It's kind of a little Axl Rose inspiration. I like so much because we are similar like John Galliano, like with long hair, with scarf around our head and I'm so excited because it's my first season to doing uh, Dior. Uh, pret -a -pret -a, I did uh, Haute Couture and it's amazing here. Yeah. All this stuff, a huge backstage, it's a little bit cold but it's fine. <laughs> I just found out I'm opening the show. It's a privilege. I mean, I, I think John Galliano is one of the legends of fashion, and I, I'm really honored to be a part of it. Bandanas on every single girl and they're combined with like really big sunglasses so you just get that complete blackness here so it's an incredibly strong look you know it's as rock and roll as it gets you know and sort of moody and mysterious and gorgeous too Gothic chic. It took the um, initial inspiration from the haute couture and um, gave it a contemporary spin and uh, a great work was done on the fabrics um, which we worked in degradé so the uh, fabric was starting its life in like a boucle then turning into a georgia and finishing into a Swedish chiffon so you got this beautiful kind of light way of tailoring very feminine super light that was really the news I think. made it fun to work like that, the idea of um, taking gothic inspirations and giving it a chic spin. I mean, we can only do that at Dior, really. I mean, it's quite fun, it's camp. <laughs> My first time to do the show, but I love it. Just everything, the clothes, the the way how people do that show, the way how they do the casting, the way how they do the fitting. It's more like about even the personality of the girl also, because I think it's very important. They have to know which look gonna fit for this or that girl, how she walks. I mean, it's so it's like personal thing. So I like it. I 
love doing this show. It's like one of the best. I've got a really cute little jacket with a belt and really cool boots. So it's very exciting, very cool. I think it's very unique and very strong and powerful and the girl feels really strong walking with the clothes. Every single piece is very different and the details on jackets and dresses are so interesting that you, you won't be able to catch it on the one way, you're going to have to look over and over again to catch everything on the dresses and jackets and beautiful details that he did. The, the shorter jackets, the more structured collars, the one with very fluid, the bias cuts, and of course. Uh, there was a refocusing on, on, on the waist, but not in a too obvious way, just with an amazing kind of buckle, um, uh, which gave that kind of small body and the long legs, which we love. Very happy, very surprised. The colors, the design, uh, everything, material, the work is amazing, amazing. He's it's, it's a real artist. <laughs> Fun, the whole spectacle and the, and the, the, the you know it's like being in a little fantasy world for 10 minutes it was really fun yeah for me it was just kind of rock yeah it was fun those boots heavy boots and it's great and I go rock show I can put on one of those outfits it's perfect yeah.